Welcome to Kent ISD's Remote Learning Boot Camp, Organization and Communication Module. My name is Keith Tramper. I'm one of the EdTech consultants at Kent ISD, and I work alongside of Craig Steenstra and Ron Houtman, who you'll hear from in this course as well. I'll be your host for this module. Let me start out by saying remote learning isn't easy. It is a serious challenge to be able to meaningfully connect and provide meaningful learning to your students while you're stuck at home. It's also a challenge for our students while they're trying to make sense of why they're even at home for remote learning in the first place, but then to navigate all the different changes in structure that they've had to undergo in remote learning. So the best thing that we can do as educators is to make sure things are organized, well-designed, and made so that our students can make a sense of everything they need to get access to. In this module, we will design and organize digital materials that support online learning. We'll leverage cloud-based tools to support student access to learning materials. We'll consider creative credit and copyright concerns regarding sharing learning materials online. And finally, we'll develop a plan for communicating with students and families during remote learning. Before we begin, please pause the video to reflect on these three questions. This module progresses through four different segments. The first segment is focused on the foundational elements of cloud computing using Google Drive. The second focuses on how we design our LMS so that learning is easy and structured in a way for our students to access. The third segment is sharing learning content, and that's how we get materials into our students' hands while thinking about creative credit and copyright concerns to keep ourselves from legal trouble. The fourth is focused on communication planning, and that's developing a, to a communication plan for getting word out to our students for what their learning expectations are. So let's start out with Google Drive. Google Drive is a very commonly used tool in our area and around the world. It's the foundation for how we get all of our different learning materials onto the internet and safely into the hands of our students. So when we work on organization and how that comes first, it helps set up our learning management systems and the learning experience for our students so that they in turn can then learn in better, more effective ways. So many of us have been using Google Drive for a while, and if that's you, that's okay. Take your time through this module, pick up new things from the different videos that we'll show, and try to gain some new learning and really polish your skills so that your organization goes beyond um, the basics and makes it even easier for your students to access learning. Let's start out here. What is cloud computing? The basics of cloud computing are that it's similar to those, remember those flash drives? Those things you used to plug into the computer? Because at that point, that was the best thing we had, right? Well, it's kind of like that, but it won't break. <laughs> you won't lose all your files because it got stepped on or run over by a bus. You can't lose it. It's always out there on the internet. And it's password protected. So nobody's going to get access to it by just grabbing your flash drive and plugging it into a computer. Plus, you can access your files anywhere you have internet without having to worry about that single USB stick. And your files are backed up by default. That's one of the nicest things about cloud computing is there's lots of redundancy, so you never have to worry about losing a file. In this module, I created two separate videos. The first video focuses around organizing folders and files within Google Drive, as well as a few pro tips that I've learned along the way. The second video focuses on sharing settings. You'll want to take time to go through that video just to make sure you understand how all of the pieces of sharing work within Google Drive. The deliverable for this module focuses on two questions. The first question being, which organization features are you most likely to use? What were the things you picked up from this unit that, you, that really connected with you? And then question two is, which sharing settings make the most sense for you to use with your students and why? Take some time to think through those, respond to them in your checklist, and when you're finished with that, segment one is done, and you can move on to segment two. Thanks for listening.